In the next example, we're using pipelines to create a one-line command that will identify stopped but not deallocated VMs in a resource group and then deallocate them. As noted on the screen, you'll need to log into Azure with rights to manage VMs to follow along. When we shut down a VM in Azure, it shuts down the VM and then deallocates that virtual machine. By deallocating the virtual machine, we stop paying for it. However, if the VM is shut down from inside the operating system, the OS is shut down, but the VM is not deallocated. And that costs us money. We only stop paying for a VM when it's deallocated. Now that the pipeline is filtered to just the VMs with the power state of VM stopped, only one for this example, let's pipe that into the stop VM command to deallocate the VM. This example also uses the force switch, so it doesn't prompt for a confirmation. That finished, now let's get the status of all three VMs again. And now VM number two is showing deallocated.